Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nick Juan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and today we're going to be on Leonardo AI looking at their new photo reel pipeline. So it is a, a new pipeline that they created recently, I think it's only like maybe a week old or a little bit less, and it allows you to create some incredibly realistic images. If you, um, if you join in the Leonardo workspace, they have it right here at the top. You can see it is in beta. And if we look at the explanation, it says, Leonardo Photo Reel is our latest innovation, a powerful pipeline designed to generate hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits requires alchemy to work. So when you turn the photo reel on, it blacks out the um the actual model so it's using the photo real model and it turns alchemy on uh, they do have two other uh, photo settings you can do depth of field this contains the depth of field of the image at lower values the image will have a shallower focal range and more of the image may appear soft or blurry higher values the image will have a wider focal range and more of it will be in focus and then they have raw mode we recommend leaving raw mode off as it requires longer prompts to obtain good results it may be beneficial to enable raw mode if you are looking for more control and flexibility with complex prompts so if we take a look at some of the images that i've generated already like if we look at uh, these are images of scarlett johansson i used a really simple prompt which was just Scarlett Johansson with a red dress. And you can see right here, Scarlett is the focal point, and then the background is blurred out. And so that's what it does when you have the depth of field to low, it creates those type of images. I did the same for Florence Pugh, and you can see she is the focal point, and then everything in the background is completely blurred out. And so it works very well. These are some uh, Gwen Stacy images as well. So if you use um, the low setting, then it's great for creating these types of images. I actually haven't even used the high one yet. So I wanted to test this out using, uh, this is kind of a prompt that I like to use when testing out uh, new pipelines and new image softwares just because it creates some very random results. And I'm going to leave it on cinematic. You have cinematic, creative, vibrant, and none. So we'll leave it on cinematic because I like the, the results that cinematic does. And then we're going to see what this new pipeline creates. All right, and here are the new images. And man, these look incredible. So you can see the depth of field uh, working in the background. We have the actress up front as the focal point and then everything else kind of blurs out. And once again, this prompt creates some very random images and that's why, <clears throat> that's why I like to use it so much. You can see with this one, uh, I don't know why that moon is in front of the guy's face, but there's another one behind him. Once again, you can see the depth of field working and it's a very, very nice, um, Nice character image, really nice clothing. That is a bit unfortunate. I might do some variations if I want to do some changes with that. This one looks really good as well. Very nice character, incredible outfit. Really like this outfit. Looks like he's got some weapons on his back and they got the moon and um, some sparkles or like some sparks around in the image. And here we go. So this one is where the moon is actually in the sky, which is good. Everything else just looks beautiful. Incredible images. So I'm really liking the images that this thing creates. Uh, let's play around a little bit. So we are going to change the depth of field to high. So that way the whole image will be in focus. And I'm going to leave raw mode off for this next generation. And we're going to see what that does. And here is the next set of images and man these these look really good so the moon once again is actually in the sky this time they do have a character looking up at the moon even though he's uh, really small you can see there's a lack of detail but it still looks really really good if we check the next one 
very nice moon in the background and I'm just loving the clothing the clothing that this model is creating it's just so good very good clothing once again very nice very detailed clothing and man look at that moon the fire moon in the sky looking just awesome and once again similar to the first image we have the moon way up in the sky and then we have a character looking up at the moon so you can see there is a difference between the depth of field you can see in these images just about everything is in focus but with these images the background does look a little little out of focus so now we're going to try same generation except we're going to turn raw mode on now i know raw mode is really for longer props this is a really short really simple prop i'm still curious just to see what happens let's see what it creates wow and look at that i'm actually i'm actually impressed so these don't look as realistic as the other images but they still look really good just the amount of detail on the clothing and the hair it's so good these images are incredible once again it uh, doesn't know what to do with the moon in this image it put the moon like in the middle of a rock and then another moon up in the sky there is a character really low down there can barely make it out but it does have someone there this one looks really cool looks like a firebender almost the face is lacking a lot of detail so i would have to do some editing the hands don't look great either so i'd have to regenerate this one but everything else looks really good and this one is a really really beautiful image it, the eye does look a little weird over here but everything else looks great clothing incredible and then it has the fire moon behind her this time it's not a full moon it's a crescent moon so it looks really good so we are going to try a different prompt what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a prompt from um from one of my stable diffusion xl videos actually i did a dream shaper xl video last week a few days ago and i created a dragon attack we're going to grab that dragon attack prompt and see what this thing does all right, so I put the dragon attack prompt in. Uh, there is no negative prompting with this new model. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but I guess the images that it creates are good enough to where you probably don't really need any negative prompts. So we're gonna leave the depth of field on high. We're gonna leave it on raw mode for now. It is a longer prompt, so maybe that will help out. And we're going to leave it on cinematic. So let's see what happens and here are the new images so you can see these look really good I probably should have changed the um, the aspect ratio because right now it still kind of has like that portrait look holy cow look at this one this looks incredible look at the army look at the uh, the armor that the soldiers are wearing and then you got this one big guy in the front oh and then the dragon looming over him. Just awesome. But yeah, I probably should have changed the aspect ratio. So that way we can get a larger dragon. And look at this. So you have kind of like a hero in the front about to face off against the dragon. Really, really nice images. And here's a similar one. You got the hero and the dragon over on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the aspect ratio. I'm going to go with a portrait one. And I'm going to take off raw mode, put it on regular, save, and let's go with eight generations. I'm gonna do eight generations this time. And let's see what we get. And here are the new set of images. So you can see these are some really, really nice images. It does really good with the detail. Very good with creating detail outfits on characters. And you can see it looks really good on the soldiers. This one doesn't actually have any soldiers at all. This one has a lot of soldiers, and yet it does so well with the, um, just with the, the armor, the clothing. The detail on the clothing is so good with this model. And the dragons look pretty good as well. 
And I think I'm gonna do some more this time on the Tarn Bar mode back on. Man, look at that. Look at this army. This army looks so good. This one created two dragons, another dragon back there, as you can see. And look at this one. Looks like this dragon's about to eat them. Another great, great set of images there. So we're going to, this time, put our mode back on. Save. I'm going to put the depth of field back to low. Just so we can get a little bit more of a cinematic effect. And then I'm going to generate another eight. And we're going to see how those turn out. All right have a look at these so I think with the raw mode the dragon itself does look a lot better and the whole thing looks so much more cinematic with raw mode on I guess it's because of the size of the prompt but this does look like an actual movie steal it looks so good oh man look at this one look at all the detail look at the amount of soldiers that are there and look how good they look. And then the dragon itself, there's just so much detail on the dragon. These are some incredible, incredible images. This one's a close-up of the dragon, close-up of the army. You can see there's just one soldier standing in front of the dragon. Looks like some soldiers in the background. But this one in the front looks really good and the dragon looks good as well. It's another one. This one is just the dragon it looks like you can see parts of soldiers in the background and of course everything's on fire and then look at this one this dragon looks way different than the others has a much smaller head than the others but look at the army look at the soldiers look at the armor that the soldiers are wearing and then of course you got the fire all over the place and then this one looks really good as well. This one looks like the dragon is about to eat one, one or two of the soldiers over here. Soldiers looking good. The fire looks good. The city behind it looks good. These are some incredible, just incredible images. And look at this. Kind of looks like the dragon has multiple eyes. You can see it's about to spit fire down on these soldiers. And once again, the armor on the soldiers looks really, really good. I think there was just one more. Yep, this one here. Looks like this one, the dragon is actually on top of the buildings out here. And it's just laid waste to the city down there. So this is a incredible model. Just incredible if you're looking to create some, uh, some photorealistic stuff. I will check out, um, we'll check out some of these other types. We'll see creative, see what that looks like. I'm going to drop it back down to four, keep everything else the same, and then we're going to generate and see what creative looks like. All right, and you can see here is creative, and it took some, some liberties with the dragon. It almost looks like a half dragon, half fish type deal in this image. Now this one as well looks very different, made some changes to the dragon. I do have the one soldier standing against the dragon, which looks really cool. This one has two different dragons, almost looks like this one is helping the city while this one is destroying it. But once again, huge fins on both dragons. So I'm not entirely sure what creative does, but it definitely made some changes to the dragon itself we'll try one more we'll see what vibrant looks like and then that should be it for the video all right and here are the vibrant images and you can already see color wise it's definitely different dragon looks a little bit different as well but the colors are not as muted as the cinematic one looks a little bit more like an actual photo the type of colors man look at look at the bottom of the dragon look at the belly of it look at just how much that red pops out looks really really good soldiers are more colorful now uh, you can see the red on the actual outfits pop out a lot more and this one looks cool it looks like the dragon is actually running but once again you can see just how much that red on the dragon actually stands out a lot more than with the the other settings this one looks almost like a gargoyle gargoyle type dragon 
Looks like this one is just kind of chilling, like it's done destroying the city, and now it's gonna lay down and take a nap. So that is the photo reel from Leonardo AI. Now since it requires alchemy, I believe alchemy is for upgraded members only. I don't think you can use alchemy as a free member. So that would mean photo reel is only for upgraded members. Uh, let me have a look through this real quickly. See if I can find anything about alchemy. All right, I actually had to um, go into the alchemy uh, FAQ. And it does say right here, this feature is in beta. For paid users, use at your own risk and unlock secrets within. So yeah, you do have to be a paid member in order to use Alchemy. Um, so you cannot use this new photo reel. But the cheapest membership is $12 a month, which is not bad. For $12 a month, you get 8500 tokens. This is actually the, um, the membership that I have. It's great because I like to create my own uh, custom models, like models of myself and some friends and create some images with it. And so this is the one that I use. If you do use the free one, you do get 150 generations per day, but you would not be able to use Alchemy. So I definitely recommend upgrading if you want to use it for these incredible, incredible images. So that is pretty much it for this video. We're going to go out, show up my personal feed, upscale, and I'll just show you guys some of the images that I've created using the new photo reel pipeline. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.